Welcome everybody. Today is September 8th, 2021. It's 3.04 on the clock. The Empress and the Emperor. And let's go ahead first and take three deep breaths. more deep breath. Sending lots of love and blessings to everyone. I hope you're having a great day. And thank you so much for being here. I have a few pictures to show you. I have a lot of pictures I want to show you, but I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> I'd like to, but... So uh, I, did two, I did two short videos this morning because I'm seeing that white, what looks like a moon in front of the sun again. And it moves with the sun. It's not separate from the sun. It's like connected to the sun because the only time I see it is not when the sun is in, in a clear sky, but when there are clouds in front of the sun and then there are other clouds as well because the clouds block the brightness of the sun so I can see it in front of the sun and then other dark cl clouds will go by and go over it so I can't see it all of a sudden. So it's very obvious. I did, th I did two different videos at two different times this morning, one around 9 or 9.30 and then another one an hour later. So the sun was in a completely different place and that big white um, spot, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of that, um, was still in front of the sun and I would only see it when the clouds would roll by the ones that were in front of it, if they were cleared from it. Um, and if the dark clouds came in front of it, of course, I couldn't see it again. But again, it moves with the sun, and it looks like a moon. It's just big and white. So if any of you guys know what that is, let me know. Um, first of all, this is the, the tag for today. This was a bug picture I took from the video this morning. And it's ser it seriously looks like Tinkerbell. There's your Tinkerbell. And then we have um, the Union Reed here. For those of you not familiar, this is 40, 5D, and 6D, Incoming Divine Feminine, Outgoing Divine Masculine, the underlying energies and the closing energies. The reed in front of you, the main Twin Flame Reed. This is the Syrian Starseed deck for both reeds. And then the reed in front of you with seven decks. All the clarifiers it is a lot of energy and it is a general reading so if everything doesn't resonate with you don't force every message to fit if you want something more specific to you my information is below as well as on my website twinflames3344.com and i have a cd out there also called ashes twin towers to twin flames by evelyn stainthorpe if you want to check that out it's a great way to support me it's only a dollar for a song or about a dollar Okay, so let's get going with this. I'm going to roll the die first, and I want to show you a few more pictures of what I was talking about. For the Twin Flames today, we have the number 11, which is justice, truth, and balance. We have the sun, which I was getting all these pictures this morning of the sun. And then Libra energy, all about balance. So the sun is also Leo, and then this is the 11 for me. Justice is also about Libra, so we have two Libras and Leo. And they're actually very compatible energies. Two signs forward and two signs back are always people that you have in your life. So the pictures I saw this morning, right? So this is from my first video. So there's the white spot in front of the sun, right? It looks like a moon. And it's next to the tree. And then we have, um, there's the, um, the distant picture. I did a close up so you could see it better. And here are some of the other pictures. All right, so these are all from the first video, and you see it fading away. Like in this picture, you can see it fading away behind the dark cloud. Okay. And then it's coming out again there. And then 
I'm not going to show you every picture here. There's so many cool pictures um, I want to tell you about. Um, and these were some pictures that it looks like Mother Mary here. Like she was, there's a couple different poses where one she looks like she's leaning on her hand, kind of looking up at the sky, and the other one just kind of turned towards, with her back towards the camera, uh, looking up. But also I love that it had the, uh, you know, it has the eight shape here. And there's, there's so many uh, pictures in these videos that I took this morning. So again, this is er, the first video, a good shot of the, the, the white moon or whatever it is. And there again, we kind of have the mask again. And I actually have a, I took some time drawing a mask that I got from the clouds today. There's a lot about masks. There's a lot of children energy in here, especially with Tinkerbell, you know, some characters here. Um, let me get into the second video. So yeah, here's actually the mask that I that I drew today. I don't know if you could see it, but there's it's like um, a V, and then it loops around like two eyes, and there's a couple other lines. It was very very tribal yet. Um, I don't know if you could see it very well. It's kind of hard to see it on the original picture as well. But there, it's kind of like uh, two leaves coming up from a V. And it's definitely like on a shield type of shape. And it's like an arm is holding it out. Okay, just give me a second. All right, so this is the second video. So you can see there's no bush over here. This is, the sun has moved this way. And you're still seeing that in front of the sun. And it goes out. When the sun's clear, I can't see it. I can only see it when there's layers of clouds around it. See, there's a nice bird shot there. And there's the uh, Tinkerbell. There she is. And there was a moth and a bird. Um, it's definitely not, there's some really cool pictures. This is like an exclamation point, which I liked. It's just a beautiful picture of the clouds. And then here's that, that circle again in front of the sun. Oh, this one too I love. You can see it looks like, there's a couple pictures I have of this. It looks like a cat or a dog here, and this is like the owner of the dog, and they're looking up at the moon. So you can see the, the animal here, and here's the owner with his arms out wide looking up at the moon. Sorry, there's just so many, there were so many, uh, oh, this one too, it, you know, again, this big guy, the dark guy, looks like he's reaching his hand out into the middle of the light, and then there's another person right here, that little head right there, and uh, also you see the heart right there, there's a heart inside a big black heart right here, but if you look closer at this heart, it's, you can actually see a man's face here. His nose is here, and his mouth is here, and his chin, but his eyes are covered by these, like, clouds. I don't know if you can see that well or not. There was, yeah, a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, but if anyone knows what that, that circle is, is it a satellite? Is it something? But it's moving with the sun. And I can only see it when there's clouds in front of the sun so that light, the light is blocked out, so it doesn't get blocked out um, in the light. So again, here's that, the original, the original video. Okay. And again, Tinkerbell. I loved this so much. Look at that. 
just like Tinkerbell would pose. All right, I guess I've tortured you enough. Okay. All right, so we have the Union read and the Twin Flame read, and we'll pull some Oracle cards today. So the Union read was done at 6.28 p.m. last night. Six is the Lovers, 28 is the Two of Wands, the Twin Flames. The Union read for the 45B60 for today, which is the 8th of September. The 8 is the Dance of the Masculine and Feminine, the Horizontal Dance as well as the manifestation of your dreams, being strong inside and out. Um, also health, of course, with the strength card. We have the Three of Cups as the underlying energy, the Ascension card in the middle, and the Knight of Cups as the final card. Gathering joy, reunion to ascend and be love. Coming together with Pisces and or the Divine Feminine to be love. Celebration of completion, empowerment in the green room waiting to go on. The incoming Divine Feminine is the Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Together passing downloads, or perhaps golf balls, or playing kaplunk, or taking a risk in a hot air balloon. Emerald and magenta, which is so funny because someone was just uh, showing me colors in a message because um, I had to pick something out, and one of the colors, which I wouldn't call magenta at all, had the, the, the name or the color magenta written behind it. So here magenta is coming up again. So emerald and magenta filling baskets to take home there is after all no place like home or the mailman or delivery to the gingerbread house or tr was coming up and i was getting teddy roosevelt for some reason high vibe business or the masculine side versus the social female and the queen of pentacles here finding joy socializing in the workplace perhaps in order to ground finances the 4d here ace of wands higher self and the five of cups the Divine Feminine's Passion Ignited, the Divine Masculine Grieving Loss and Regret, and Bridging in the Higher Self. The 5D is the Seven of Cups, Ascension, and the Ten of Wands, the Divine Feminine Climbing Circular Steps, the Stairway to Heaven, Two by Two with only positive energies and gifts, the Divine Masculine Climbing Out of the Dungeon and to the Light, Atlas Leaving the Wounded Warrior Behind, Bridging at Completion, Taking the World by the Right Hand, giving self three wishes, so giving them to yourself instead of waiting for someone else to give them to you, or Middle Eastern belly dance, meeting in a portal where dark meets light. The 6D here is the wheel, the shadow, and the king of pentacles, the divine feminine destined, sealing the grid, the divine masculine Akashic review, and opening of the crown without using their mouth. We have bridging in the shadow web, manifesting shadow work between the etheric kundalini and the crystal skull Aztec Atlanteans. The outgoing divine masculine is the knight of pentacles, the four of wands and the four of cups. A proposal or offer of union or home, grounding, integrating, being love in a castle by the sea, third rock to infinity and back, or man-made waves in an infinity pool and or the coffee cup. The divine feminine here ignited or heated energy up like a hot air balloon or helium destined to manifest heaven on earth. The divine masculine on the stone by the creek looking down or hiding counting to five before heading up for more shadow work or the king of pentacles. The bridge here is the higher self, the world of the divine feminine and the shadow, or the wounded warrior, or the, I was, it's, the uh, World Wide Web was definitely coming up, the WWW. The higher self ascending through the dark shadows, the higher self ascending, dancing in the dark. The divine feminine with Libra on her side with the queen of pentacles at work. The divine masculine with no major arcana on his side with the King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups at home, perhaps a father and two children. Between them, two Pisces and Capricorn, so perhaps a double Pisces or two fish, and Capricorn. 703 was coming up as an office, perhaps, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles putting out the drawbridge, fishing to draw her in. The 44 comes up here, of the Four of Cups, the grounding and integrating and mastering of love. It's also a, very much a number of the masters. 
the 44. And the horizontal pillars were the 3, 17, and 24, which is the Empress, the Star, and the Queen of Wands. The vertical pillars, the 10 of the Wheel of Fortune, 3 of the Empress, 8 of the Strength card, 15 of the Devil, and 4 and 4. So either two Emperors or that 44, grounding, integrating, and mastering of love, plus the 44 that everything culminated to in the read. So the messages come up, came up as the Empress, Star, Queen of Wands, bored or grounding and integrating love. Destined Queen of Cups or Empress dance with the devil with two emperors or the devil is bored too. Two empresses and two emperors, a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands, the devil and the star, bored or grounding and integrating an offer of love. We start the twin flame read that's in front of you at 804, eight again of the strength and, and the dance and the manifestation of dreams. The four is the manifestation of survival, a lower level manifestation. And the Syrian starseed deck was cut for today. At 814, Zion came up. So Zion can come up with that, but also the Sophia connection at 814, the dance and the temperance card, that higher love. And I finished clarifying at 828. So again, the eight of the dance and the 28 of the twins. The major arcana were transition of the death card, Darcy, which is the fool, ascension, which is the world, and after the read, the tower came up. We had two swords, three cups, two wands, and one pentacle. The queen of wands was the, made, the main character in the read, and before the read, the queen of cups came up. We had the nine of swords and the nine of cups in the read as well, and then the knight of swords came up after the read. We had 33 and 99 is the double numbers in the read. 33 is the Christ vibration and the seven of wands, standing up for yourself without being triggered. And the 99 of compassion and endings and universal selflessness. And just again, that reminder to have lots of compassion and the collective consciousness. We have eight, nine, 10, begin again and again and again, keep coming back to center again. The six of the lovers. And we also have one, two, three, jump the 23 of the King of Wands, the 34 of the Eight of Wands, that energetic exchange in the Arrows of Love, 46 of the Six of Cups, 68 of the Page of Pentacles, and the Phi energy of 89 also coming up of expanding and contracting, or just staying in the middle and reflecting. The code line here was all about music and domestic harmony, which was very interesting because a lot of groups came up yesterday. And of course, Linda and Paul McCartney came up in my read yesterday regarding domestic harmony when there's music involved. The six of the lovers. So the messages were coming up here to say or perhaps write in an essay, uh, pie, or perhaps talk about having temper tantrums as well. Um, a show of power up here, showing people up. And the need for Sophia, the queen of wands, to take the high road it's like Sophia coming here over the Queen of Wands, to, you know, re reminding them to take their higher self road, the 309. Six of one, a little more than half a dozen of the other was coming up, which is very interesting. And then Priscilla Presley came up, literally, because this strange word came up, which was her nickname from Elvis, which was Satinin. So Priscilla Presley came up regarding Sophia and the Queen of Wands, took the high road with lover in unfair relationship of music and domestic harmony. So again, here is uh, Elvis Presley and Priscilla, and Paul and Linda. So you see the common theme here. Um, at 9.03, again, a helicopter was right over my house, setting, and again, that's that energy of someone famous who's always got helicopters over their house. Setting was important word here, setting the scene, or setting without the gene, without the sword without an aim towards a place or time, without a smile, levity, or sport, without being pleasing or actually fair, without gender or manners, without gain, juniper, eating, talking, or arms, using your arms, the Sophia setting here, the wise one of flames taking the high road as the lovers or the Sophia nine, the collective consciousness of that high level divine feminine being a bit off key here. So it's not quite six of one and half dozen of the other. It's a little bit off. Truly done, a show of power, like someone's like done. This time I'm done for sure. In a show of power up 
or snowed someone, snowed the Queen of Wands, taking the high road or 309, and that could be 309 as well. The lovers off key or imbalanced with music and domestic harmony. And again, Linda and Paul, Ebony and Ivory was coming up, or the mid moon, which would be a week from about a week from the new moon, which we just had the new moon yesterday. So around the 14th or 15th. And 914 was coming up a lot. I've seen it at least two times um, between last night and this morning. So 914 is the hermit and that higher love. And again, we're in the hermit energy at Virgo right now. So again, being satiated or sick of something or sick of grandma's clearing of flames, like someone who doesn't agree with what you want for your life. Um, and taking the high road with lovers where it's unfair or at the new moon regarding music and domestic harmony. And again, that was coming up with my own family because my mother forced us all to take piano and a second instrument. So you can imagine her torture as well, listening to five children practicing two different instruments. So again, it's not always, music isn't always, there's wounds here regarding music because it's not always, you know, love and harmony listening to music at home. It can be very, um, uh, very off tune, <laughs> to say the least, okay? So, it's like the downside of being in a musical home. Um, so no one's really, I would never have thought of wounds regarding music, because when we think of music, we think of something that's good for us. At 917 is the hermit and the star of the 17. And then 918, the hermit and the moon. Um, I had just, I'd written both times down because I'd just gotten up to close the curtains. The Queen of Cups receiving big love and Two of Cups connection or a painful ending or ending pain or getting a massage, back or spine issues, running out of options with a happy family ending or emotional fulfillment in moving a visit or ending a marriage, a home and or the party's just over in an unstable home. Um, here we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, all reversed, and then Sagittarius upright. So after a sudden event, epiphany, or sex, the Queen of Swords is not talking to Capricorn or the devil or temptation waving. That can be the ball and chain as well. After a sudden event, epiphany, or sex, post-war or virus, implementing a plan to offer love to one in need of healing, dreaming, or Aquarius, Taurus, both reversed, or depressed divorcee, or the King of Pentacles upright, uncomfortable with patient angel or that higher love. The wind beneath his wings literally came up here. In the fall, when the heat is on or the air conditioning is not working, off the beaten path in the cool, cool rain. So the who is coming up here. Done 40 days and 40 nights in the desert on the upswing, and that could be swing dancing. Time for some green and cool, cool rain. Summer into fall, and then Indian summer, the King of Pentacles and Spirits connecting with me, the King of Pentacles uncomfortable speaking outside or without a specific temperature setting, without Twin Peaks and Kung Fu. The devil, it may be a pain in the ass, but the angel is uncomfortable too. Overworking it and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, family, business, or community, dysfunction or loss, spending a lot to lessen the wounded warrior's tale or their long story of all the wounds they caused them, forcing their agenda on them, the short end of the stick. Again, this is the wounded warrior, that victim mentality. But all those burned bridges or britches or bitches, deeply set in their ways, rooted in and hard to uproot them now. So, you know, when you dig out the plant, you know, you gotta really go deep to find the entry wound in order to get it out. You must get to the root of it. It's not working out with the family, business, or community, but having trouble setting self free in, in the thought of being uprooted. Getting to know each other comes up here as well as playfulness. As the emperor is dazed, perhaps confused, yet retaining control. If they don't want to wake up, they will then get pushed out of bed here with Aries and Libra both upright here, both on the same axis. The Queen of, uh, excuse me, the King of Swords is reversed, powerless to obsession, destiny, or multiple women, clinging to his ways, no longer trying to cut hair or cords, nude pics of women of all ages, or paintings all over the house, which is funny because my mom, 
she she posed for a book for nude women of all ages. So so funny that this came up here. So again, nude pics of women. I actually have nude pics on the wall too because my grandmother was a painter, so she used to paint nudes. So there's some paintings on my wall too. So but this was coming up in the read. Um, so nude pics of women all, of all ages or paintings all over the house. The beauty, the intellectual, and the beast, old and worn out. So again, the lack of appreciation for the older woman. Unending supply of new bodies to satisfy as the king of swords reversed is lo losing power, money, and independence or dependent spending and powerless to uh, powerless to that dependent spending whether it's a spouse or child and he without say or verbally freaking out at them without any effect. Like it's just like, you know, making your cra yourself crazy for no reason. Or Quasimodo reversed and the King of Swords reversed. Don't understand how the Emperor, with any woman with who can get any woman he wants, wants the one that he can't have when they give their right arm for just one of them. At 943, the Hermit and the Three of Cups and coming together. Oh, aw, bird just hit my window. I think he's okay. Uh, parenting comes up with number three, the Empress. And then beneath it, New Beginnings, which is number one of the Magician. At 944 is the Hermit. And again, that 44 of grounding and integrating and mastering of love, or perhaps being bored or apathetic or feeling sorry for yourself. Stuck, stubborn, unable to function. The Knight of Pentacles reversed with their twin, with their kids, or fond memories of the Page of Cups reversed, or the one who was rejected or vulnerable, not getting their wish, to loving each other and unhappy apart. Divided, split, lying, and needing the truth, the Queen of Cups longing for her Romeo or Prince Charming, but princes don't want divorcees or leftovers or alternative beliefs about commitment and religion, not considered worth the investment because they can't keep a promise. No blue ribbon penmanship, no silk curtains, and no blue eyes. The way one, the way that one, perhaps with Taurus in their chart, likes it, not her. No sweet, loving spiritual beauties to break their heart. Perhaps they see her children as unhappy, even though they're soulmates, with amazing love connections here. The here font reversed in a painful ending or ending pain. Divorce or a break in contract, religion, establishment, or Taurus reversed. Patient angel or Sagittarius wounded warrior, or the wounded warrior caught between Sag upright and Libra upright, or between higher love and their destiny. Getting to know you and getting to know all about you. And getting to like you hoping that you like me too. So whatever, I can't even remember the words. But anyway, that's, the energy was just coming up. And then Taurus reverse and spirits connecting with me. Oh, oh, that's the other, so they want me to bring up the fact that I couldn't remember the words. Because in, in learning music, you also have to remember a lot of lyrics and remember that the stars have to remember all the words to all their songs when they perform, which is not an easy thing to do. To, you know, you have to really focus, you know, and be on. Taurus reversed, ending pain, with Sag upright and Sag upright, so two Sages here perhaps, with wounds between them, and Libra upright, and parenting, 63, suffering in silence, perhaps dealing with kids or a sister. We have jealousy, moodiness, rejected and insincere, bad influences without peace, overindulgers, in turbulence or vomiting and holding the barf bag or saving it for later. Sharing or settling out, the page of cups is upright with a loving message but stuck, broken, or with car issues and stuck, with the page of swords and queen of swords both reversed here complaining, and the knight of wands falling short with lovers of loved ones, the queen of pentacles reversed and the queen of cups upright here. The knight of wands reversed is not getting up to help the Page of Swords and Queen of Swords reversed, perhaps not getting up to help them out, or just a game to them when they're needing emergency help, or there the Page and the Queen are abusing 
the Knight of Wands reversed, expecting them to jump whenever they call. And we have Sag upright, Pisces reversed, and then Gemini or Virgo upright here. The Eight of Cups reversed is uncomfortable emotions or energies of not leaving, but running away from patience and upside down world or uncomfortable emotions about lying, cheating, or stealing away from the patient angel, the divine feminine in the 5D, or Sagittarius upright and Pisces reversed on break, or 5D connection and sleeping or keeping to themselves, breaking patterns with the magician, or falling for an intelligent manifester who thinks they're all that. The Two of Cups connection and suffering and silence and burdened by the King of Swords reversed, who may be sneaking around or just hiding, and there's Scorpio upright and Aries upright here, the foundation is the transition card, the death, the ending, the dark night of the Knight of Wands reverse, which also can be player energy or just someone falling short or paralyzed by their passions. The Page of Swords reversed may be a bad influence, right? Because they're really immature, you know, conversation there. They could be spying and lying and having their own negative self-talk, but also could be spreading rumors. So that Page of Swords reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed, both of them could be bad influences around the Emperor. And now playing, now he's playing hardball with them. They can be his own kids or perhaps young workers or withholding time and money and effort from them. The central energy is the Three of Cups reversed, perhaps a third party lover at 1010, two destinies between the Magician and Atlas, one burdened and working too hard, overweight or slave labor, while the other's sitting pretty, getting their way, hanging out with the King of Cups, and no car or broken up. The Hermit reversed, going crazy, or perhaps someone with dementia or Alzheimer's, or coming out now. Gemini upright, Virgo upright, Capricorn or Pisces upright, but Cancer and Virgo are also reversed. The challenge being the Queen of Wands reversed, on break or trapped in 5D connection, grieving and speaking their truth as the Knight of Swords or Messenger of Truth, to or about a divorce or break or Taurus reversed who's feeling guilty for taking their thoughts, like, like stealing their thoughts and not offering anything in return. The Queen of Pentacles reversed starting over with the Page of Wands reversed wanting to fix things. Taurus and Cancer both reversed here in energetic exchange of passion with the King of Wands affections and the Wounded Warrior Emperor in energetic exchange with the Empress reversed or Taurus X in conflict with Dark Knight, death, ending, or transition, or Scorpio meeting, or bumping into Aries reverse, or a fool who's embarrassing themselves. The Knight of Cups reverse may be jealous or rejected or insincere, and injured or out in the cold being judged, or in a wake-up call, or making announcements or amends. Music could be piped in here, or maybe they're someone's alarm. The clarion call could also be going off here to come home. Now here is the Six of Pentacles sharing the Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Cups partners, dumping emotional attachments or all must go, coming clean, getting clean, or cleaning up the act or space with the Knight of Wands The Knight of Wands, perhaps not working after a divorce, or Sagittarius with Taurus in their chart. Um, the Queen of Wands reversed, separated or disappointed, settling out with the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands, with a lot of back and forth between them. And it looks like the kings are together. In exile here is the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands, implementing a plan to co-create with the one betrayed, the King of Swords reversed, falling from grace, dumping multiple loads in energetic exchange with the Knight of Swords, who's unable to pitch a home run, unable to get excited or inspired when grieving or sad and the Ten of Cups family sending them out as the errand boy, being strong, taming the beast, or walking the dog, the Knight of Cups reversed and the Empress reversed, making an announcement to the Page of Cups or judgment call about a message of love. We thought he liked running errands for us. The Page of Cups upright, but the Knight of Cups is not, 
up before dawn to make calls or announcements. And soon as the Three of Wands reverse, looking back or living in the past, trapped, tied up, imprisoned, while the Queen of Cups and the Knight, excuse me, Queen of Cups and the King of Wands are drained or in need of sunshine or vacation, suffering in silence or dealing with their sister and not sleeping, and defenseless to the energies or attacks by the King of Wands bleeding out, or there could be two King of Wands here. So two fire sign men, um, somebody bleed, betrayed or bleeding out, or kids or pets or Leo reverse, keeping him up all night, or twin bleeding out and them feeling it. The twin flames seeing themselves as the Nine of Swords, the suffering and silence, being stressed out, not being able to sleep, having headaches, whatever's keeping you up at night, crying, purging, trying to end the nightmare, hiding, counting to nine, destined to go crazy or come out, Libra upright and Virgo reversed, depressed page of pentacles reversed, in need of help post-war or PTSD, on the journey leading the way through deceptions, the new moon or cancer reversed from the past with finances and career that Yes, finances are affecting your love life, attraction, and give your relationship a chance. Around the twins are how they're seen is the star seed or the fool reversed in a false start, receiving big love from an uncomfortable place and offering truth, which is only causing more pain. At 1032, which is the 10 of the Wheel of Fortune and the 32 of the journey, we're ending it. So this is, it's the truth is all there either causing more pain or ending it or feeling stabbed in the back or giving someone more spine pain. The block here is the nine of cups upright, self-satisfaction in soulmate connection with the king of pentacles and secret passion or the king of wands ganged up on the kids or twins about the king of pentacles and their secret passion that actually makes them happy. Domestic harmony comes up here and music as the Page of Cups is unable to express feelings and maybe spying for clues. And then yesterday, Colonel Mustard in the kitchen had come up, or it might have been the day before. The world reversed needing closure or a big cycle that's just about done. The Divine Feminine in the 5D or Pisces reversed on a quest to end their single status or their powerlessness or feeling left out of the happy family who's happy whether they're there or not. The dark night in need of peace from injustice and settling out or back to being charitable again and on top at 1037 to 38, which is the King and Queen of Cups. By the way, the Blue Lagoon came up yesterday. So I hadn't watched that in a long, long time. So it's really cool. It's a very sweet movie. It's very innocent. Um, and it was so like, taboo back then when it came out because this here was nudity of children when that you know that's their natural state to just run around and be naked on the beach right um, so it was very interesting to review that energy again uh, the painful ending or healing from a long journey patient angels in transition of ending a nightmare that was a dream off the island uncomfortable with that the unknown the uncultured of not being used to being around people. And the challenge being the Queen of Wands is sexuality and look at, looking back at how lucky they were, sharing equally in another world. The Knight of Swords on a rock under a tree, sending a message to his love, not knowing what he would do without her in his cave all alone. She had to almost die so that he could know what he almost lost. The Queen of Cups in love with soulmate, sometimes a pain in the ass, or that's just the giving birth part, to know she can survive the worst kind of pain and that it doesn't last. Uncomfortable at times, but having faith and transition, if we need to, if we need to we'll just eat the berries. Antisocial, one-to-one, -one, challenged by the Queen of Wands in the past, giving birth to a son. What they thought was a nightmare was just prep for a fresh new start, a dream come true, a wish fulfilled, to sharing a world turned upside down. She and her truth after a sudden event, epiphany and or sex and birth, and she is his truth. Where would he be without her at 1245, the hanging man and spirits connecting with me and the 45 of the grief, the grieving um, loss and regret. So let's go ahead and pull a few cards from 
the Animal Spirit deck. It's 39. It's 344 on the clock here. So again, the 44 coming up here. And the 39 of the, um, the Knight of Cups. Right? It's like the offer of love. And if you think of um, the Blue Lagoon, of the, you know, the young boy offering love to her in such a pure, innocent way, because they really grew up like brother and sister, you know. So 344 of the Empress and boredom. Talk about being left on an island, boredom. <laughs> and um, it's again 40 and 32, the innocence of the Page of Cups and the journey. The journey of, you know, losing your innocence. All right, so what is the takeaway from this read today? The hummingbird. The hummingbird is very high vibrational, right? They, they fl their wings flutter very fast. Very high vibrational, and of course, the song of the hummingbird. And look at the light that they are clearing here. Very high vibrational, so reminder to keep it high. I'm going to read you the hummingbird as well. We also have the oyster and the spider here. You know, one clammed up in their shell, and one's, you know, staying in their web, like not venturing out to find some food. They're staying there to stay safe, and they're staying in there to stay safe. But the hummingbird is out clearing the air. I was just getting an announcer here, too. You know, like a sports announcer, a radio announcer, or just announcers in general. But I feel like they're clearing the air so that these guys can come out, come out, come out wherever you are, is what I'm getting. And that's very much like the playful energy from the Blue Lagoon last night. We have the, the owl also here who's keeping an eye on them, right? The wise old owl, right? Well, this one in the Blue Lagoon, remember the old man was there with them initially who taught them how to survive. He taught them both how to make a house and how to fish and what to eat and what not to eat before he passed away. And then they had a bird friend on the island too. There was a parrot or macaw, whatever it was. And the bottom of the deck is the snake, which references the kundalini, but also the collective consciousness awakening here, right? That, this is, that the world is sealed when you're in that high vibration. And when you're young children, all innocent like that, you're very well protected because you're in that innocent love energy. And that's confirmation. <laughs> so just keep that high, innocent vibration and you'll naturally be protected. This is the ceiling of the world that the feminine has been working on to, to wake up first so that then the collective, co the collective could awaken, which is now happening. But we're just placing all this dark energy, forcing it off the earth, which everyone's feeling as it comes out of the earth because the earth is awakening as well. Here again, the collective rainbow energy in the earth pushing all the dark energy out. And there's the crow standing guard. Okay, so let's see what the journey of love has to say. Oh, they want to bring the energy too uh, in the Blue Lagoon. They weren't allowed to go to the other side of the island because they, told, they were told that, you know, the boogeyman lives on the other side of the island because there were some um, tribal ceremonies over there and the old man didn't know what they were actually doing over there. But uh, when the boy wandered over there, or Richard, he actually watched them kill one of their own men. So, but they lived on another island. I think they just came to that island um, to perform their ceremonies. But they thought that, that the uh, rock there was, or their, their god that they prayed to, was uh, Brooke Shields in, in the movie. She thought, uh, or M, she thought that was God. So when she was sick, he took her there, but that was the same place where someone had had his head chopped off. So, so it's like two sides of the same coin, literally on the island. You had the two young children growing up on their own, and on the other side of the island, you had these tribal men, you know, cutting each other's heads off. And they literally said in the movie, "Why can't people just love each other?" <laughs> so it was really sweet. All right. 
journey of love. What is the message today? <sighs> oh, it's so funny too. Speaking of music, right? They had no music on the island. I'm sure that, but he did. He made like a, a harpsichord or, um, anyway, the breaking the 65, but every time they went to sing songs, they didn't know all the words, <laughs> so they would piece things together. It was so cute. So here's the breaking the 65 of the King of Pentacles, right, which is the man who's mastered everything. He's been through all of the different elements and has mastered them all. It's, it's that energy in the deck, just shy of the emperor, right? But not everybody wants the emperor's position. And this is like crack, the masculine and feminine crashing into each other. Crash, what's that song? Crash into you. And then we have the numbers, the uh, card soft as well. I'm having a lot of trouble talking today. The 47 is the seven of cups, which is the synchronicities, the heaven in your eyes, having lots of choices, which could be confusing or cause confusion. And again, we have the pearl energy here of the moon or the structure I keep showing you to ask you what it is. And here is the pearl which is like the ovary and the egg as well. The softness of the divine feminine. And here's this, oh, look at that. It's the swirl of my symbol. So the, the um, mask that I told you, that I showed you was in the card, this is like half of it. It was like this and then went down to a V and then the duplicate on the other side was on the mask. And that, this is like one half of it is the pearl. The other half of it is the crash, <laughs> the breaking into the king of pentacles here. The bottom of the deck is she is the moon. As we have this moon, or whatever it is, she is the moon. 21 is the completion of the world. And there's that very, this is the shokere energy of put the power here. Put it in your heart. What's underneath here is the heart. So the heart fire. So here it's saying, put your power in your heart, right? Look at all that passion and inspiration inside your heart with the Christ consciousness of the yellow and white light. She is the moon. Which there's that reference to the moon as the pearl, being that same kind of energy. And all this turbulence, which came up in the read as well. And then you see how much roughness there is in the cyclone here. But even in the vortex, there's crazy energy like being thrown all over the place. Even the vortex here isn't safe because it's not balanced, right? We were, it was coming up in the read several times that it's not quite even. It's not quite balanced. And there can be all sorts of issues when it's a little bit off, you know, just like the body. As soon as one thing's off, it throws everything else off, your hips and then your organs, because your bones are, are an organ. So when, you're, when your bone structure is off alignment, it causes illness in your other organs as well. So it's really about getting balanced here. Because when people are out of balance, even the vortex may not be a safe place. The king of pentacles and the softness, the need to be soft. <sighs> not just in control of, of time, money, and effort and taking care of other people but also the need to be soft, to allow your feminine to show through. Okay, so this is coming up as the masculine, the king of pentacles, who's been through the ringer, and then the feminine side of the need to be soft, that she is the moon. And it's like the breaking in of the divine masculine into his divine feminine. So we're gonna read those. Let's put these down for a second. Okay, so first we have the hummingbird. Of course, that is air. The hummingbird. The hummingbird's positive, enthusiastic, and spiritually resourceful. Inside the tiny hummingbird, which is funny because I showed you Tinkerbell, and it was very much like the hummingbird. Inside the tiny hummingbird resides an endless well, and endless love was coming up because that was Brooke Shields, and it's a very similar energy. An endless well of energy and positivity. The hummingbird's secret is that has it has learned where to gather nectar, and it returns to these sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. 
The sacred elixir springs from many sources, but usually involves nature, creativity, and exploring spirituality. Follow the way of the hummingbird, and you cannot go wrong. Every droplet of life becomes sweet, every moment worth savoring. When in balance, they're smart, curious, and they love to learn, but when they're out of balance, they may be pushy, insistent, and sharp, as opposed to flat. To bring into balance, take a class. Okay, so it kind of pushes you to be the student again. So remember, they have an endless well of energy and positivity. Their secret is that they've learned where to gather their nectar. Just like on the island, right? It was, uh, everything was natural. They only ate coconuts and natural things and fished their own fish from the ocean. And so when they know where to go for what really nourishes them and rejuvenates them, It allows them to be healthy every day and balanced. Following the way of the hummingbird and you cannot go wrong, every droplet of light becomes sweet and every moment worth savoring. So again, take a class if you're feeling off balance in that way. And for this one we have 65. breaking. You are breaking apart. You might not understand it at all. There's not so much to be understood, but the simplicity doesn't mean it's easy to endure. You may worry that you're going too far, that you may never recover or ever come back um, together again. But what can you do? Can you hold back from the divine love that calls you, that lures you to becoming all that you are, to remembering your divine nature? Well, you could try, but for what purpose? Temporary rest before the storm is best. So take the rest if you need it, and then dive into the storm. Let yourself be brokenhearted by the divine, so that you can become your truth, become all that you're meant to be. It is better to have the heart broken so that it grows, than to be brokenhearted by thinking that you must protect yourself from love. This oracle brings compassionate guidance that no matter what sadness or anger, despair or frustration that you feel, you're being pulled apart, not by dark forces, but by the loving embrace of the divine, as it strips you of that which would keep you from your divine realization. Let go and break. It's going to be the making of you. And the poem is simply love. Love is a special closeness that sings from the heart, that warms my days and nights, that feels good, that makes me smile, that makes me glad to be alive. Remember your water, your sleep, your joy, and your nature as it was just 5252, which is the Queen of Swords. Rise and be loved. Bye.